Hello everyone, today I'm going to show off a recent eBay purchase that I made. This turned out to be a pretty great lot. I found, I, I sorted by auctions, looked for something that didn't have any bids on it, and I found a lot that had two Ziploc bags full of mostly copper coins, and really not any good pictures. And it looked like almost everything in the bags were Canadian pennies, Canadian two-pence coins, I mean, uh, British two pence and British pennies. And so it looked like there wasn't a lot of value. I saw this one Chinese coin barely sticking out, and I didn't know what it was. And it turned out this one coin was worth a whole purchase. Uh, it's from the Shanghai province of China, and it's from 1928. And uh, I made another video just on this coin, which I'll link above. Everything else in the video will take a closer look. There is one other Chinese coin, and this is a 10 cash coin from 1907. And as I was looking through my price guide, or the, the catalog, the Krauss catalog, I found a bunch of coins very, very similar to this one. Uh, let me flip it over, and we've got the, uh, the dragon design. And I even did a search for the words written around uh, Tikuo copper coin. And as it turns out, there's about... I don't know, 50 different varieties of this coin. Uh, some of them don't have that dash after the word coin. Sometimes it's a dot. Sometimes the little pearl in the middle that has four flames coming out of it. Sometimes it's five. Sometimes it's three. Sometimes it connects to other parts. And so there's just so many little variances on this coin. And so if it was a countrywide coin, it would not have a mint mark in the circle right there. So when Pretty much what I had to do is is go through 50 pages in the catalog until I found the one that was identical to this one. One of the things I did notice was that the uh, the symbol right there is uh, not very common on this coin. So that kind of narrowed it down, and it, it matched the mint mark in the middle. It turned out this is from the Kiangnan province. And so it's got a catalog number of 10K.8. Not particularly valuable, but it is something that you don't see very often. I thought I already had this coin, but it turns out I did not. This is from French Polynesia, which we would know as Tahiti. And it turned out I did not have the 100 franc version of this coin. I have several of the smaller denominations. It's a shame that it's in uh, such a worn condition, or at least uh, uh, kind of grimy, but uh, I guess the details are still pretty good on this one. So my first 100 franc from French Polynesia. Another location that's hard to find coins is British West Africa. This is only my second coin from British West Africa from 1953. And that, if I remember, that is a combination of Gambia, Ghana, which was Gold Coast at the time, Nigeria, and Sierra Leone. And around the edge here, it says George uh, VI King. And this is one-tenth of a penny, so a very small denomination, but from a really rare place to find a coin. I was happy to find this uncirculated 10, uh, 10 pence coin from New Zealand that shows a uh, Maori mask on it. So uh, really glad to find this in uncirculated condition. It's fairly new. 2006 has the uh, modern portrait of the queen. This one really caught me by surprise because I didn't know what country it was from at first. It says Republica Española. And I know that's usually uh, something Spain or Hispanic related, but most uh, modern coins from Spain say España on it. I'm not used to them saying Española, but I looked it up and it was from Spain. And, but they only used uh, this design of coins for about three years or so. So I don't think I'd ever even seen uh, this coin before. It is a 50 centimos, kind of a plain back on it, but certainly a rare coin. Here's another... Uh, Almost uncirculated coin. This one is from Thailand. This one's going to be a 50 Satang coin. Uh, and I have so much trouble reading their numbers. This is going to be from circa 1988 through 95. Uh, flip it over and at least now they put numbers we recognize on it with uh, the 50. But it's got uh, some kind of uh, Thai temple on it. But uh, that would be a 50 Satang. And 
hundreds of tang make a bot. I was kind of surprised that I'd never found this peso from Chile. A lot of their coins have um, Bernardo Higgins on uh, on the uh, head side of it. But uh, here you go, one peso, uh, copper from 1942. Here is a one cent coin from South Africa. Shows a couple of birds on this side. We flip it over and... From 1983, they're, they're different versions of all their coins. This one has the name of the country written twice in two different languages, South Africa on the right, but Sweet Africa on the left. A one groschen coin from Austria is not that rare, but the one from 1937 is a little bit different, so it has a, uh, a different uh, catalog number to it. Uh, we flip it over, and it does have the, uh, the head of an eagle. And uh, their Austria in their language uh, looks like Österreich. This is an Austra a Australian uh, two cent coin, not particularly rare. Uh, however, this is a version from 1966 where there are some variations in the size of the claws. And I I just had to get on the internet and take a look. I think it's the uh, the, the middle claw right there does not extend out as far as it does on others. And so there are, uh, that means that it was made at a different mint and that variation only appears in 1966. And I believe there's a second variation where the, the claw on the very right also has a, they call it a blunted look to it. I picked up uh, a few Euro coins that are new to my, new to my collection in here. We've got the, uh, from France, this is the one euro cent, and a lot of the uh, the lower denomination French coins have that mask and kind of some swirls around them. Next is Spain, so a modern Spain coin it shows a cathedral on a lot of the on the uh, the three uh, copper coins. From two cent, we've got uh, this one from Germany, which shows I believe that's an oak leaf. And then uh, several from five cents, again from Germany, we've got the oak leaf. And I may have had these, but the way I'd marked them in my collection, I wasn't too sure. Uh, another from France, this one's a little bit clearer and has also has an RF for Republic Francais on it. So again, uh, kind of like the, the face with uh, going through there. And then the, uh, the five cent from Spain also has... Uh, the same cathedral, except this one's larger, and we can get kind of a better look at it. And then the last of these uh, Euro coins we have from Netherlands. So we have Queen Beatrix. And when the queen changed, the uh, the coin from Netherlands also changed. In addition to the copper coins, there were some a small number of aluminum coins and three new ones from Indonesia I did not have. So this is the 100 rupiah. And I believe that shows a cockatoo on it. And the back of all three of these are going to look the same. The other two are in a little bit better shape. Here's the 200 rupiah. And that is the... What has the name of the bird in their language, which is the Jalak Bali. Flip it over and we've got a, a clearer design of the, uh, the Indonesia logo there. And they did note in the book, while that looks like a 2008, it's just the, the typeface. It's really 2003 when that was minted. Last one was also minted in 2003. This is the 500 rupiah and it is uh, some kind of leaf. The uh, Bunga Melati. And then finally, last uh, aluminum coin, we have this one from the Philippines, which uh, not particularly rare, but I just didn't have it. It's the uh, five centimos, and it shows some kind of flower. Again, it's got really tiny letters there for the, uh, I'm not able to read that. Maybe you can on camera. Almost looks like Vonda Sandurania. So, uh, glad to get another um, aluminum coin from my collection.
for whatever reason, they decided to include a, uh, a really beaten up Indian head penny. The things I've just shown you, are, I, th I think, made the whole lot worth it, but there were also quite a few uh, tokens that I think are interesting that I'm going to show off now. Here we have a uh, Smash Penny uh, from Disneyland. So I've got a small Smash Penny collection, and uh, I'll add that one to it. I don't know if I have any from Disney. They're not particularly rare. We've got a Namco arcade, so I think that's kind of neat just for the, uh, the Pac-Man, which is on it. Here we have a uh, a parking token. It says Card Key System Inc. Uh, flip it over. It just says Courtesy Parking. If you know where this is from, let me know in the comments below. Squeaky Clean Car Wash. Well, the reason I think this is, is interesting is the uh, actually shows. Uh, I don't know if that's a Model T or just uh, an old old fashioned uh, wagon kind of car there, but I uh, thought that one was kind of neat. I find these no cash value tokens all the time. This one is from Straw Hat Pizza. Again, never heard of that, but if you have, let me know in the comments. This no cash value one is from Jack Anthony's Seven Flags Car Wash. Then we have the Ultimate Party Place, which is from Bali's Aladdin Castle. So I guess that is from... Uh, I don't think I would have known who Bally's was if it wasn't for them buying out the naming rights to uh, Fox Sports. So uh, I guess we're looking at something from Las Vegas. Well, I was hoping this one would have a cash value, but obviously it doesn't. No cash value, no refund. This is a souvenir from High Desert State Prison. Good for one photo, the photo project. And I think uh, High Desert here is in California, I believe. Another token from California. This one commemorates the arrival of the uh, uh, the Queen Mary. And then this one has a specific date on it. The Port of Long Beach, California, December 9, 1967. This one I, I did a little bit of research on. This one is a replica of a gold coin that was made during the gold rush from the Cincinnati Mining and Tracing Company. So this one's not actually from them. It's just uh, several companies made souvenirs. Uh, obviously, this is not gold, but I think you can tell who made it by the R. I didn't research it that much, but this would commemorate what would have been a $20 gold coin in 1849. So that's uh, about the size of a U.S. half dollar. I guess we are going to save the best for last, and uh, at least for the tokens. This one is about the size of a Morgan dollar, and it does say Treasury Department, United States of America. Uh, we flip it over, and this one is from the San Francisco Mint, 1874 to 1937. So uh, this one, uh, for token collectors, this one appears to be uh, pretty popular. I, I now notice on under the date there is a small s mint mark, so I guess they actually minted it, this coin at that mint. And this by itself goes on eBay for about eight dollars, so I think that that one was uh, certainly stood out. All right, I hope you like these coins and uh, these tokens. Thanks for watching. Bye.